I'm Jason Tan, I'm a gynecologic oncologist with a special interest in uh, minimally invasive surgery including robotic surgery and uh, most of my cases are comprised of uh, gynecological cancers and complex benign surgery um, attempting to do them uh, laparoscopically rather than via an uh, open cut approach. I would like to discuss uh, today uh, about how MedVR has changed my practice surgically uh, including the preoperative um, decision making, planning and also with regards to how it's improved the patient's understanding of the pathology that they have. So in a nutshell what MedVR is, it's a, it's a software tool that's, that converts traditional two-dimensional uh, DICOM images into a virtual reality image that we can visualize using virtual reality goggles. Um, how that helps with surgical planning is basically, uh, as a surgeon, uh, on a 2D image it's very difficult to um, um, assess the relation of the pathology to surrounding structures, its position, um, and humans basically, you know, we are, we are used to um, visualising things in, in 3D reality. Um, and it takes years of training to be able to interpret a 2D image and then try to recreate that, what it looks like in our mind. Firstly, I'd like to talk to you about, about the management of um, a large fibro uterus. Um, usually, um, it's, a, it's um, a difficult decision to make between doing a myomectomy, that is removing just the fibroids, or performing a hysterectomy. And I feel that this needs to be a joint decision made by the um, surgeon and the patient. So traditionally this is how we view um, the fibroid in radiology uh, 2D images and if, when you look at that uh, even with a trained eye um, I cannot see a clear delineation between the normal uterus and the fibroid. As a surgeon looking at that I would assess that look there is no clear planes between the uterus and the fibroid and therefore it would not be feasible to um, do a myomectomy so um, the default decision then would be to do a hysterectomy to avoid our major blood loss. Okay so as you can see I'm going into the patient here and you can see that big mass there of the fibroid on first glance you see you can look up you can see the, the blood vessels there I'm able to see that's the bladder there um, that's the bladder there, that's the fibroid, um, but where's the uterus? So then what I would do is go back, trace where the, um, the vagina is, and then we follow back, oh, there you go. Um, you can almost get a sense, and now we're just confirming, so there's the uterus there just behind that big um, fibroid there um, just anterior to the the black gas and you can see that there's a uterus there uh, with the endometrial stripe there um, and what I'm going to do is freeze that afterwards right so the uterus is there and I'm going to see from my angle here and I can see distinctly there's a delineation uh, between the uterus and the fibroid and the fibroid's not invaded into the uterus. So I have now made the conclusion that I'm able to do a myomectomy by preserving the uterus because I can dissect that area there off the normal uterus here uh, to further um, demonstrate this then what I can do is I can position the patient as though I'm doing the surgery now and then I can actually look at it as though I'm doing the surgery so I know I'll be faced with that big fibroid there which I have tackled and then as I go further I can see there's another fibroid there and you can see there's a clear delineation there so on the flip side I can show this to the patient um, and if um, I see that there was, it was, it was there's no um, delineation. It's not feasible to do the surgery. Um, you know, I've been able to a, to demonstrate to the patient by her actually looking at. You see that I've just moved that, 
and the uterus is still there um, right there and I'm able to tell the patient look you know if there is no delineation um, between the fibroid or the fibroids invaded into the uterus she will understand that saving the uterus will not be possible this is more looking at surgical planning of what I can do and see where the fiber how the fiber comprises of the whole pel basically occupies the whole pelvis but uh, to do the procedure I need to identify the uterine artery which is there and I know I can clip that there to prevent blood loss before proceeding with the myomectomy and on the other side as well we can look it's you can trace the blood vessel there you can see that's the the, the common iliac uh, splitting uh, um, the iliac vessel splitting and then you go up 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 and we can see there's the uterine artery there uh, which we've been able to identify that we can clip so it does tell me um, in this situation I have enough space to work with despite the fact that the the uterus occupies the whole pelvis yeah. To further add to that, now I've positioned the patient as though I'm doing this laparoscopically because typically the patient will be in this position. So when I'm achieving laparoscopic prevent, ten, this is my laparoscopic tool on my right hand. And I look, the first thing I want to do is, that's the aorta there. And then I want to go down, further down, find the fibroid, which is there. And you can see that blood vessel there. So I know now I'm actually practicing preoperatively that I can ligate the uterine artery there prior to the procedure. It's like a trial run and also I can um, show my assistant. So in summary, really, um, I think the, the, the crux of it is looking at 2D images to even with the trained eye, there was no way um, I could see a, um, a delineation between normal uterus to NF delineation to enable a myomectomy but after using MedVR that that I was able to see that and hence the patient ended up having a myomectomy and she went home day two.